All right. Just kidding. So here's my another entry in my Flipboard today from Education UK. Look at this coronavirus. Three universities move to online teaching amid rising cases. Let's see why. So as you very well know, uh, the education sector in the U in the US and UK, there are there are many universities that already uh, started, you know, face to face classes. But look at this, three of UK's biggest universities have moved to online teaching. When they say move to online teaching, it means move to online teaching again due to coronavirus outbreaks. So more than 1,000 students have tested positive for the University of Manchester since the autumn term started last month. So the university has now joined with Manchester Metropolitan University and the University of Sheffield in announcing a move to online learning to protect the health of students and staff. It comes amid the renewed calls for all universities to halt, to halt. <laughs> Let me tell you that face-to-face -face teaching and for the government to stop pretending campuses are able to control the spread of the virus. So in the UK, around 80 universities in, have so far reported at least 5,000 confirmed cases of the coronavirus following the return of the students to classes. Now, this is UK one of the first world countries. Now we are moving towards face-to-face -to -face in the Philippines. UK, more or less in this move, uh, following this news, is saying that they are failing in controlling the spread of coronavirus in the campuses. What will it be for the Philippines? What do you think? <laughs> UM, which has 40,000 students and 12,500 staff, has reported 1,041 positive cases in students since September 21. Imagine that. 9 plus 5, that's about 14 days only. Further 20 staff have also been confirmed as having the virus. The overall figure at MMU is understood to be more than 500 positive cases. Yeah, so what do you think? Is the Philippines, especially the Philippine schools, are, are we ready for the return to face-to-face? -to -face? You know, in the Philippines, we have been trying to return to face-to-face, -to -face, especially uh, in, in colleges, universities, and at least in tech-rock universities such as ours. And there have been growing concerns whether we can stop the spread of coronavirus in campuses. Imagine this one. UK, uh, one of the first world countries. See, the University of Sheffield, where nearly 500 students and staff have tested positive since the start of term, said in person teaching would be suspended from Friday, but it would resume on October 19. The move comes amid rising cases across parts of England, with the latest weekly infection figure showing Manchester's rate has soared with 3,105 new cases recorded in the seven days of October 3. But that's all. Uh, the new cases is for seven days. Our 3,000 cases is just for a day. But of course, our cases uh, is for the whole country. Uh, yeah. UCU has welcomed the move by the, by the Manchester universities, but said virus outbreaks could have been prevented had the decision been made earlier. It is clear that the government needs to stop pretending, look at this, stop pretending that university campuses are well prepared for this crisis and tell all universities to halt, to halt in-person teaching to control the spread of the virus. This is UK, remember. This is not, you know, some country, right? Meanwhile, staff of the coronavirus hit Northumbria University have called on Vice-Chancellor Andrew Wathi to resign as UCU members agreed to ballot for industrial action over health and safety concerns. The university announced on Friday that 770 students had tested positive for COVID-19, including 78 who were symptomatic. So on Tuesday, UK reported another 14,542 coronavirus cases, almost 2,000 more than a day. So what does this mean? It means that in England, uh, they are... Uh, experiencing like a sudden surge of coronavirus cases and this could be attributed to the return to campuses uh, to return to school yeah for face-to-face -face classes 
Another 76 deaths linked to the virus were also reported, I think the total to 42,445. Wow. So, what do you think? Can we handle it in the Philippines? Oh my God. And back in school, this is exactly what we are not preparing for. <laughs> the return to face-to-face -face classes. What do you think? Leave in the comments below. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. Ring the notification bell so that whenever we come up with new videos, you will be informed. That's right. Peace out. And hopefully, we get past this. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.